Andrew Tate, he was not vocal about Palace on day one. On October 7th, he said, Oh, there's good guys and there's bad guys. Day one, free Palestine. I was the one doing it. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. If you're watching this video and it's Salah time, please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done. Please check out the description section of this video to support the channel. Just when we thought the Sneeko and Andrew Tate drama had quietened down, it seems to be amping up once again. This time, it seems to be over their level of support for Palestine. In particular, in regards to both Tate and Sneeko's reaction immediately after after October 7th, 2023. Take a look at what Sneeko had to say about it on a very recent stream. I've been the most vocal person about Palestine from day one. Even Andrew Tate, for example, he was not vocal about Palestine day one. On October 7th, he said, oh, there's good guys and there's bad guys. October 7th, day one, free Palestine. This is a genocide, it's not a war. Jordan Peterson is, is a sellout, he's saying, give him hell. This is very clearly, uh, there's an attack. They allowed this to happen. Mossad, the biggest intelligence agency that would not allow this to happen. This is genocide. It's not war. Free Palestine. Day one. I was the one doing it. I've been speaking about Israel almost every day for two years and now I'm a sellout because I don't think whites are the supreme race. Okay, so first of all, respect to anyone and everyone who's spoken up for Palestine in any capacity. I commend Brother Sneeko for how adamantly he defends Palestine and I agree with him on the points he made about Jordan Peterson and Ben Shapiro being the low-life genocide enablers that they are. But to be honest, I think he's being a little bit harsh on Andrew Tate. But before we delve into why I have that opinion, let's look at a side-by-side -side of both Tate's and Sneeko reactions immediately after October 7th, 2023. So when I see all these people choosing sides, calling for the absolute destruction of the other, saying this team's completely wrong, that team's completely wrong, to me it's all just a huge psyop. Because let me tell you something about the world. Only in movies is there a good guy and a bad guy. You could sit here and display to me an extremely concise, compendious, and compelling argument that Israel are the good guys, and that Hamas slash Palestine slash Gaza, whatever, are committing war crimes and doing bad things. You could also do the absolute same thing in reverse. Yes. There are no good guys and bad guys. It's gray. It's not black and white. It's a mess. And how that mess is solved, I don't know enough about the conflict to answer. What I do know is that children will starve and that we can try our best to stop that happening, which is why we're donating money. That is my view on the war. I'm going to do my best to stop as many children from going hungry as possible. That's my political view. Andrew's political view on the war is he doesn't want children to be hungry. We're going to stand on free Palestine. I think a lot of these influencers, especially like people with the podcast, they should spend more time like looking into that. We, like, we talk about the drama and everything, but nobody's actually really like coming out publicly to say free Palestine and talk about how it's a genocide and it's not. It's genocide. It's not war. Like Israel's an apartheid state. They're bombing Palestine for like 20 years. They retaliate once and then immediately they, every, all the media covers it and they're saying that there's a girl that's going to a festival that looks like you and she's wearing a bra and she's dancing around. They say she's dead and she's not even dead. They're saying that they're killing babies. There's no reports of that. Uh, so I think we really need to come out in support of Palestine. It's not like we're in support of dead people or we're against or they say you're anti-Semitic or spreading hate speech, but I think that they've just been bombing the Gaza Strip nonstop for, for 20 years and these people can't leave. It's an open air prison. You're seeing people really publicly support Israel. They're saying guys like Jordan Peterson are saying, like, give them hell. They're literally advocating for to death. That's what Ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson are saying right now. They're saying, give them hell. They're saying, like, wipe these people out. They're advocating for genocide actively. And then that's not, that's not considered hate speech or violent speech. He's, like, tweeting at the, at the president of Israel saying to give them hell. So on the merit of that clip, yes, Sneeko's reaction was the more unwavering pro-Palestinian one, where he called out not only the Israeli government and military, but also shady political commentators spreading hateful Zionist propaganda. And once again, I respect his courage for doing the right thing and his commitment to telling the truth. But even though Tate was initially sitting on the fence in that initial statement, to be fair, he did say his concern was for the safety of the children and that he would make charitable donations to ensure they did not starve. And I'm not mad at that. And again, to be fair, Andrew did tweet this on October October 7th, 2023, where he said he was making dua for a brother named Omar who works for his charity Tate Pledge in Palestine helping orphans because Israel had began dropping explosives. Here is a clip of the brother Tate is referring to.
may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward this brother for his noble efforts. Let's dial it back somewhat. In regards to the recent clash Sneeko and Tate had over Tate siding with white supremacists and Christians, I was on the same page as Sneeko. I felt Tate was wrong and Sneeko was right. However, I personally don't think Sneeko should bring Palestine into his recent issues with Tate. And yes, in recent months, myself and other Muslim content creators have been critical of Andrew Tate's recent inadvertent statements associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his blatant disrespect of Pakistanis and Bangladeshis, and his part in the incitement of the UK riots by wrongfully framing Muslim immigrants as the bad guys. But again, let's be completely fair. Andrew Tate has done a lot for Palestine. Let's take a look at what Tate had to say about Israel and Palestine a few weeks after October 7th. I want to turn to the war between Israel and Hamas in, in Gaza. What is your view of this war? I think when you call it a war, you're doing a disservice to the people who are having their limbs blown off by some of the most advanced technical weaponry on the planet. It is a genocide and it is disgusting. And it doesn't matter which side of the political spectrum you fall on. When you observe a genocide in front of your very eyes, you should be disgusting. Which side is waging genocide? The Israelis are genociding the Palestinians and you know it as well as everybody else does. I don't know does. that. Well then it seems like your bosses are not allowing you to know it. What perhaps. do you think of, of what Hamas did on October the 7th? Why are you starting the story in the middle? I Pierce? didn't. I just asked you about the wider war. I'm now asking I can't you specifically about Hamas. I cannot professionally answer that question without talking about the context that led up to October 7th. Well, nothing to my mind justifies what happened on October the 7th. Nothing justifies what happened before October the 7th, Piers. Mm. This is the exact point. So you're talking to a man. I don't know what answer you expect from me, because mm. let's forget the fact that I'm a Muslim. You're asking you're me not... what I would do if another government Andrew, came along and blew want... my family to pieces? You... You don't get much more clear cut than that. Tay has a similar stance to Sneeko. It's almost a mirror image. As you saw, Andrew corrected Piers Morgan by refusing Piers' attempt to frame Israel's oppression of Palestine as a war and was adamant that Israel is committing a disgusting genocide in his words. And most importantly, given the context of Sneeko now questioning Tay's initial reaction to October 7th, from the clip you saw Andrew swatting aside Piers Morgan's propaganda tactic of using October 7th as a justification for Israel committing war crimes without consequence when Tay stated that October 7th was a continuation of the conflict as well as a reaction to Israel's historic oppression and not a starting point. Just to be clear, I'm not saying any act of violence should be justified or celebrated, no matter who is on the receiving end. I'm just saying the October 7th slogan pales in comparison to the countless October 7th Palestinians have experienced day in, day out for years on end, to this very day. People in Palestine are going through an October 7th today. In fact, they've been going through an October 7th on a daily basis for a year now. They don't get to pick one day and make it a slogan, because there are just too many days to choose from. So much so that you can literally choose any day on the calendar. We shouldn't be using our dedication to Palestine is a reason to bicker. Our brothers and sisters in Palestine should be the reason to put our differences aside and to unite us. Both Sneeko and Andrew Tate have done a massive amount of charity work for Palestine post October 7th. I'm announcing now that for the month of Ramadan, I'm going to be doing a charity stream uh, for the whole month. I'm going to be raising funds every single day for Palestine uh, throughout Ramadan. My goal is, inshallah, I want to be able to stream every single day. But Tate, maybe due to his superior financial position, has probably done more than Sneeko. In fact, even before October 7th, Tate had given millions of dollars to Palestine, as well as building schools and shelters there. Take a look at this. I'm going to be starting a foundation, the Tate Foundation, which is going to be dedicated towards charitable life. فشدت كل الدنيا فرحا زهرا لينا غصنا مالا بالخير رويت الاجيال وبه احييت امالا فشدت كل الدنيا فرحا زهرا لينا غصنا مالا تو بور فاملز ان غازا
again, in the spirit of fairness, despite Andrew's recent questionable remarks about certain ethnicities of Muslims and his mistakes in Islamic theology, credit where credit is due. He is helping his fellow Muslims in not only Palestine, but also in places like Yemen, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Morocco, Somalia, Gambia, Kenya, and many more places. Just take a look at his Tate Pledge charity website for a video evidence of this. And although I agree that as Muslims we should publicly correct each other's public mistakes, I don't however agree with making it a trend to bash people for absolutely everything they do, especially if the things they are doing are in line with Islam. So let's not deter Andrew Tate from the charity work he does and is continuing to do for Palestine way after October 7th. I think Sneeko needs to let this go now. He's had his moral victory in regards to their white supremacy disagreement, however bringing Palestine into it will more than likely result in him losing that moral high ground, as both Tay and Sneeko are on the same page in this regard. And honestly, it would be good to see them bury the hatchet and hear them speak in solidarity about Palestine on a stream. Hopefully they can make that happen. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join my free telegram group via the link in the description, where we as Muslims can speak freely and without censorship about issues like this. And remember to like, subscribe and become a channel member for access to exclusive content. Until until next time, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah.